early this Thursday, the 17th of March 2022, the President Comrade Emerson Dambuzo Mnangagwa arrived in Lusaka, Zambia, for the official funeral of the late fourth Republican President of Zambia, Rupia Bwezani Banda, who died last Friday, the 11th of March. He succumbed to colon cancer. There were speeches from former heads of state and government, Bakili Muluz of Malawi, Ian Kama of Botswana, Jakaya Kikwete of Tanzania, Joachim Chisan of Mozambique, followed by speeches from envoys from Botswana, African Union, and other countries in the region. Three heads of state and government were in attendance and gave moving eulogies of the former late Zambian leader. President Hage Gengob of Namibia said, the late Rupia Banda was technically the first president of the Republic of Namibia when in 1974 he was elected president of the United Nations Council for Namibia with that responsibility of shepherding Namibia to independence. Rupia Banda became the president of what was called as the Council for Namibia. Since the UN took over responsibility over Namibia, they created the government, so to say, in exile. And Rubia Banda was the president of that council. Because of that, he was the first president of Namibia. Now, since my brother is claiming he is a Zimbabwean, I will claim that he was the first president of Namibia. President Hakainde Hichilema of Zambia said, Zambia and Africa are poorer with the passing on of the late President Rupia Banda. The death of President Rupia Banda has left the nation heartbroken, as it has come barely a year, just a year, after we lost our founding president, President Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, who we fondly called KK, we fondly called Super Ken. The President Comrade Emerson Dambuzo Mnangagwa said his life and that of the late Zambian leader Rupia Banda crossed many paths. The late dear brother and former president Rupia Banda was born and brought up in Zimbabwe in the same manner that was brought up in Zambia. and became president of Zambia as I became president of Zimbabwe. We will forever cherish the extraordinary life of this remarkable statesman who devoted his life to serving Zambia, our region, and the African continent. Your Excellency and a fellow mourners, the late former President Banda was indeed a pan-Africanist and among the rare breed of leaders in our region. We pay enormous tribute to his active role in politics and advancing the social economic development of our people, getting back to his days as a member of the United National Independence Party, UNIP. It was UNIP which played an instrumental role in the independence and decolonization of Southern Africa, including Zimbabwe. Yes, the people of Umbachikwe near Gwanda are mourning their own. The people of Chipata in eastern Zambia, where his parents hailed from, are also mourning their own. Zambia is mourning the departure of a leader who shunned the division and always put the wishes of Mother Zambia ahead of everything else. He will be interred at the embassy park at a date to be announced. Lady President Banda leaves a wife, Tandiwe, and several children. Meanwhile, the President Comrade Emerson Dabuzo Mnangagwa is back home and he was welcomed at the Robert Mugabe International Airport by the Vice President, General Retired, Dr. Constantino Guvea Chiwenga, government ministers, senior government officials, and service chiefs. Ruben Barueza, BC News, Harare.